So we're going to talk about the difference between a pre-qualification and an approval. I can also say pre-approval and approval. Anything with a pre in it is not the real thing. Um, so anything that's a pre-qualification or pre-approval is not a real approval. Here's why. The pre-qualification and the pre-approval are done by the loan officer. The loan officer cannot close the loan. They are there to talk about the interest rate and the terms of the loan, but they don't have lending power. Number two, the approval, which is what you want, is done by the underwriter. The underwriter can close the loan and that's their job to do. They are the decision maker at the bank to close the loan. The loan officer talks to the customer, makes them feel comfortable, and they oftentimes issue this pre-approval and pre-qualification letter. But if you read it right on there, it says, this is not a loan approval. Well, why would you want that when you can have an actual approval? Loan officers also are a commission only salesperson at the bank and they don't have the authority to lend. The underwriters have the authority to lend and that's their job is to make sure that the bank commits to the right person to make sure that they are able to borrow the money to buy the house with and that they'll be able to repay it. So I want to encourage you, don't feel really confident in your ability to buy. Even if you know you're a great customer, go ahead and go through the whole process with an underwriter. At our company, we don't charge for that. We do it really soon, usually in two to three days after you give us everything that we need and we get you a full approval so that you're not just a pre-approved or pre-qualified buyer, but you're fully approved. And then you just get to go out and pick out your home and knowing that you already have the loan. Thanks so much. See you soon.